Today's technique is part spycraft, part neuroscience, and completely unforgettable. It's called the cipher code. It's a method where you encrypt your memories using symbols, emojis, and a made-up language if you want to lock in data with creativity and speed. Why does it work is a fine question, because your brain was never designed to memorize boring text. It's visual, it's associative, it's a meaning-making machine. So let's use it to create a memory system only you can crack. Let's start with the science of this area. When you encode information, meaning when you convert it to a more meaningful, visual, or emotional form, you activate multiple neural paths. Instead of just rote recall, you engage the visual cortex, the associative cortex, and, shock horror, the hippocampus. Creating a personal cipher forces your brain to interact with information, not just read it. And the more creatively you encode, the more unique the memory signature becomes. So here's how to build your cipher. Step one, choose your data. This could be uh, birthdays, formulas, quotes, passwords, dates, anything. Step two, assign symbols. Um, emojis, or even doodles. For example, you could use the um, you could use the good old fashioned love heart for anything that's connected to love. You could use the fire emoji for anything that's connected towards motivation. You could use the brain for anything that's connected towards knowledge that you need for an exam or study or something that would make your brain larger. Um, a, a triangle might mean change. A, a a swirl or a tornado could represent complexity if you want to. It doesn't matter what they mean to others. It only matters what they mean to you. Step three, rewrite the data using your code. Take a quote and turn it into a string of icons or abstract marks. Take a formula and break it into gesture doodles, a la the ancient memory technique of Pecha Kucha. You've now encoded it visually and semantically, creating ultra distinct memory traces. So your challenge for the day, take three meaningful pieces of information, one date, one quote, and one fact, and create a visual cipher for each of them using emojis, glyphs, and uh, simple sketches. Then you practice recalling the original data by decoding your own symbol sequence. This not only strengthens your memory, it also builds your ability to think flexibly, creatively, and train your associative networks. And if you repeat this regularly, you'll start building a private visual language for your memory, just like the ancients did with runes, with pictographs, and with sacred scripts. Memory isn't just about uh, repetition. It's also about how you reinvent the material and how you inhabit it. Every time you translate your thoughts into a new form, you deepen your connection to them. And when that form is yours alone, you've created a memory code, thank you, Lynn Kelly, no one can take from you. That's the cipher code.